Hi, this is Tapcat. Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are about to go out on another run, but I've got some skills I want to buff a little bit here. I need to actually open up some for him. And man, I am like really low on money too. It's a little bit awkward, honestly. So what I'd like is that. Yeah, see, I kind of just literally have no money left. Um, I think what I'm going to do... I do need this. Oh, wait. Wrong, wrong thing. All right. Um, wrong one. Get my antiquarian in here. So... I'm going to... Oh, she can't upgrade anyway. That's fine. And what I'm thinking... Uh, I need this too, and I'm almost out of money. Wowza. Can I get rid of any more trinkets? I don't... The problem is, I don't really think I want to get rid of any of these. I mean, like... Eh. Yeah, I tell you what. Maybe we just have a really interesting run here <laughs> where um, I just don't, I don't uh, bring anything. <laughs> what could go wrong with that plan? I mean, I, wait. Oh, I can't afford a whole stack of food. <laughs> oh. Okay. I mean, some of this stuff, there's just no way I can get rid of. See... Mm. Oh, I didn't even notice. Um, hang on. When I was looking earlier, well, I didn't even give her a trinket. How bad is that? I did for everybody else. So we're going to put these that we got a, a dungeon or two ago to use. They're really good. Um, they do add to your stress, but... They're, they're excellent. So we're going to put all those to use. I'll give her some extra protection. Thing is, like, she's really bad at dealing damage. Don't know what to say here. Um, why don't I do that? I feel like I just am going to have to suck it up. I'm just going to have to do a really undermanned run. I'll just buy all the food I can. And that's it. I'll just go without torches. We'll do a zero light run. I've done it before. Uh, not in this playthrough. It's really bad to not bring any keys or anything, though. I don't see what choice I have. Um, yeah. Okay. If we have to, we'll leave. Um, and that could happen because I don't have shovels. I, I don't have anything that I would normally want. But it's a small dungeon. We don't have to explore every room. So let's just see, um, like if I come up this way, yeah, what's just murder is not being able to interact with these. Uh, so when you don't have the right item to interact with these things, 
you know, like the odds of something bad happening are usually pretty good. So I am going to just bypass most curios, I think. Because I don't have all of them memorized. At least we have some torchlight in the beginning. And, you know... I might be able... Oh, I, okay. Well, that's alright. Here, let me do this. Okay. Some abilities, yeah, like this one actually adds to your torchlight a little bit. And, um, I mean, it also stuns, which is useful. And I think what I'm going to do... Stun him as well. Alright. I didn't equip... Uh, I meant to do point blank shot. I bought it and I didn't equip it. So after this fight... I'm going to do this too. I'll keep using this because it'll keep adding to my torchlight. I'm not like, you know, doing a no torch run uh, for the fun of doing that. <laughs> I am uh, really, it's just a matter of uh, need. It's pretty sad when you can't afford torches. Okay. Um, let's just kill this guy. As the fiend falls. Yep, there we go. That's him done at least. And, um, you know, oh, it's everybody. Okay, that's actually not terrible as abilities go. Three dodge, I mean, that's not huge, but uh, I see I was out of, uh, out of, uh, uh I don't know. <laughs> My repost ran out. That's what I was trying to say. And you know what I just realized? I actually do have the one holy water. So we could have, uh, we could have interacted with that one curio. Um, uh, so here's why antiquarians are so good, by the way. This minor antique is only something you'll get if she's with you. And they're worth 500 each. Um, we won't get a ton in a short dungeon like this one, but we'll get some. And there's another type of antique as well. And uh, you get both of them when she's with you. So it's quite, it's quite profitable. You'll get much more gold if you have an antiquarian with you. Yeah, I know, guys. I know. So our stress level will go up and we'll get hit more. Are often low on supplies. Oh my god, and I did it again. Okay. I gotta get my head out of my, my rear here. I've been doing this a lot lately. Um, actually, I need a heal. I'm gonna get a stun in here if I can. He probably could have killed him, to be fair. Uh, I am gonna go for heals here. And let's just finish this stupid thing. Okay, so no screwing around uh, before I forget. So I definitely want this. I'll lose Grape Shot and take that. And let me see. I'm good with his. Now, I am not really worried about that. I'd rather have this. And I do want that. Um, I mean, this thing isn't horrible, but I'd rather her be able to do a little, a little blight damage if I need to. And then I want the group heal. So I'm going to ditch that thing. It's not an ability I ever cared about anyway. All right. We're ready to continue. Thing is, her little ability that adds six torchlight may not sound like much, but... It actually could make a difference over the course of the dungeon. 
We are going to go into total darkness. I... That... The food thing actually worries me most. I... I don't think we're going to find any that I can use, but I wish I had at least two more food. Because I good for one more food tile and that's it. Now I got to watch for this trap. Here it is. Let me do this too. Um, you only have a 50% chance, so. All right, that got rid of most of his stress. I'll probably use the torch that I've got. Um, I'm going to skip that curio because I don't want to backtrack. Wow, nice. We get hit with a trap. Okay, I will go ahead and do this now. I might as well. I'm about to go back into total darkness, I think. <laughs> All right. Do I want to come here or just push on? I'll come here. I'm pretty sure there's no fight. Although, yeah, I'm going to skip the bookshelf. Um, I am here to get money. That's the, yeah, here we go. I'm going to end up taking stress damage because I'm, I'm going to hit another food tile and I won't have enough. That's going to happen. What sucks is I feel like I'm not even really getting treasure. Should I have gone this way? Yeah. You know what? Let's go take the fight. I came here to get treasure and I'm not going to get it by not fighting guys. Well. Yeah. I needed a key to open that safely, but thanks to his little episode, that wasn't going to happen anyway. Okay, so I got a couple of ways I can go here. I actually think I'm going to do this. It's pretty cool giving him the protection and dodge buff, as you can see. And especially in the dark, you know, like that's not bad. So, with him having Blight, I think this is worth doing. He's only going to take two damage, thankfully. So, that's not bad. But I'll tell you, if nothing else, running out of money so that I couldn't buy torches definitely makes this run a little more spicy than it would have been. I do wish she wasn't quite as stressed as she is. I tell you what. Oh, and that brings light, too. I thought he had an ability that did that, but I couldn't remember which one it was. And I could have read, but who wants to do that? Let's be honest. Jeez, those crits, man. Well, this is what happens when you... Um, uh, oh, that's the Blight one. Sorry, I thought it was the heal. Uh, that's what happens when you run with no light, though. Like, everything is more against you. It, it definitely makes the game, you know, way harder. Which is why some people like to do entire campaigns with no light. That is a thing. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and use the holy water here. Um, I think I get a buff out of this. Yeah. 30% damage. Alright, so we're just gonna go over and down and start exploring new rooms again. I think I'm gonna be not happy with the results of this run though. We're not getting enough money, you know? And I'm taking, yep, here we go. No force of will can overcome I'm taking a lot of stress damage. So it's going to cost me more money to get rid of all this stress than I'm making. So not necessarily uh, a great way to go. I guess I just should have not... Oh, damn it. I should have not bothered buying those abilities when I did. Mind 
that such missteps are the exception. Yeah, I'm in trouble. She's dying. Here. I need, ironically, I need a fight to get some heals in. Or maybe we're just going to, well, it's not scouted. Oh, no. Well, she's okay, not afflicted. 96. Oh, boy. He's going to steal it. Oh, no. It was already empty. <laughs> it's almost like this was a bad idea. I want more money. I want another fight. Although, I don't know if I should take another fight, man. I gotta be honest. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. I'm gonna leave it. I don't know what we get. Come on, give me something. Give me loot. Oh, man. Alright. We well. Whatever secrets they hold. I mean, I'll come out of here with 7,400 gold, but that's not good for what I went in here to do. Yeah, that's not good at all. Oh, well. It is what it is, yeah? Um, I mean, like I say... Oh, that's really good, actually. Except I'm so low on money. Hmm. Okay, good. So they got really good stress recovery. Um, she's the one that I just can't. I can't take out again unless I stress heal her. That is the simple truth. So... Even though money is super tight right now, um, I'm in the wrong spot. Let's see. Does she have any? No, I can I can put her in whatever slot we want. Oh, brother, is she staying in there? So it's really funny. Sometimes when you put somebody in, like they will not come out. Hey, hang on a second. How do I only have sixty two hundred? Did something cost me money? Am I being charged for her to stay in the Abbey? Hang on just a second. Um, yeah, she's been inspired with holy worship and wishes to remain in prayer. So, it should cost the same as the tavern, which is 1250 that's exactly what happened. I, I believe I had 60 gold left and I was supposed to have like 7,400 or something like that. They they didn't just keep her in there. They charged me for it. Oh my God, that's terrible. That really is. So if I put her in, I'm basically broke, but whatever. <laughs> All right. Well, look, I mean, there's not much I can do about it. I would love to get at least one of these guys some stress healing as well. But I'm not going to. I, I don't want to do another run like that. That was just ridiculous. So I tell you what, since we had a really short run, let's take more or less the same group again. Okay. Uh, but we'll... Uh, We'll go in with some food and some torches. <laughs> uh, oh, this is a medium length. Okay, well, I'm not going to do that. Um, yeah, you know, I guess it's a bad idea. Maybe what I should do is, like, when we come back, instead of him... I mean, he's really good. Don't get me wrong. But I could bring a hound master. Now, I think one of them was... Yeah, I'll use like him. 
Because he's only level two, so that's fine. Oh, he's level zero. Okay, we'll use him. We haven't we haven't used him at all. So I could put him in there. Uh crap. No, I'd have to buy him abilities, and right now I can't afford to do that. The whole point of this would be that we are trying to get more money. And a medium length dungeon will do that. Uh, so what I'll probably do is go in with a party somewhat like this. Can I go? Yeah, we can do a medium length dungeon in the cove. Or actually, I would want the wield, wouldn't I? Oh man, would I dare go for a long one? If I want money, that's one way to do it. Okay, well, you know what? I'm sitting here, you know, going back and forth all this time. I will figure out which dungeon we're going to go on. But I'm thinking we'll do another gold run. Because obviously I'm still broke, pretty much. And um, I like the idea of pairing her with a Houndmaster. Because part of what she does is buff uh, dodge. And he is good at dodge. To begin with so um between that and she also gives protection which works well with the crusader so i feel like they're a nice pair to to put with her uh but i'll figure it out and we'll do it when we come back that's all for now thanks for watching i hope we see you next time